Hi, I'm Kerry with Best of Us Investors. I'm going to assume that you are not a member of our tribe, uh, the people who meet every Friday and talk about the stock market. We've been talking for the last year about Netlist and Google. Netlist has brought a lawsuit against Google for infringement on their patents. And just this last week, they got a favorable ruling that, Net, that Google did, in fact, steal their uh, patents and in order to propel them into the status they are as the leading search engine. And we're now moving into the phase of uh, discovery where Netlist lawyers and accountants will be given access to Google's books to decide how much, in fact, Google owes Netlist because of their infringement. Now, we have been following this. If, if you're a member of our tribe and you come to our Friday night, our Friday afternoon discussions, you know that we have an in-house lawyer, and that is Nick, and uh, he's from Boston, and he's been following this. In fact, he he gets access to the trials itself and analyzes what, in fact, from his point of view, what's going on. And then you wouldn't know that we have a researcher by the name of Gabe who brought this to my attention back last July when I bought into it. And I'm up now, I think, about 63%. And we believe that there is a potential of a sizable settlement that uh, could be astronomical. So I've got about uh, $25,000 invested in Netflix. I've been riding it, as I said, since since um, July of, of last year. But I, I want you to be aware of what is happening because what, what we don't know is is how much this settlement is going to be. It could be anywhere from nothing to uh, billions. And if it's billions, it's going to take a company that's roughly $900 million company, and potentially it could be $10 billion and it could triple or it could 10x the size of the company. So it's in, this is an opportunity. That's all it is. And I want you to be aware of it. And I'm going to invite you to come to our tribe, and we post uh, last Friday's meeting was immensely important because both Gabe, uh, our, our analyst, and Nick, our lawyer, were there, and they shared their opinions. And if you'll come to the Discord, there's a link to it in the de just below the description of this video, or you can come to Best of Us Investors, and you'll find a link there. But you, you'll be able to watch the interchange that we had last Friday and bring you up to speed on this with us, because this is Again, an opportunity. And what I want to emphasize to you is that I would not have known about it if Gabe, a member of our tribe who found it, brought it to our attention. And I would guess at this point now we have something in the neighborhood of, oh, 18,000 members in our Discord in, in various levels. Um, and, and I would guess that at least 50% of them have some holdings in Netlist as a result of what we've put together on our own with the help of Gabe and Nick. Now, this is not financial advice, and you're going to see a little blurb here about um, my book. It's it's a uh, it's called. Um, Find happiness by discovering who you are and why you are you. And I'm giving through the end of this week uh, free copies. So watch that, and then we'll get into the net, net list thing a little further. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Get your free copy of my best-selling book, link in the description. Okay, maybe you saw what I saw this last, this weekend. And here's the news uh, that is basically announcing a hidden opportunity, and that is the Google Netlist lawsuit. And I want you to know about it. And what I want in this video is to give you a little background so that you can see where I'm at. 
um, and where our tribe is. And then I want to address after I share some some uh, charts and my Seeking Alpha research with you. I want you to uh, understand why the why possibly the stock price did not go to forty dollars a share because I think that's in my humble opinion that's where the potential is here. Uh, so what? let's take a look at the charts. Let's take a look at the Seeking Alpha information, and then let's talk. Some this things. is a chart on NetList, and it's a monthly chart, so we can go back to where they basically IPO'd. And you can see back in uh, 06, they felt there was some real promise for this company. Got up almost to uh, $13 a share. And then as we move forward into the dot-com um, evolution, revolution, um, it, it sunk all the way down to about uh, 19 cents a share. That's an interesting bump. I don't know this for a fact, but that's about the time that the case against Google opened up. And you can see in that month, it jumped from... 64 cents to as high as uh, $7.93. Now here we are today, and, and I think it's very interesting that we're at uh, $5.78, and that just happens to line up exactly where the price of the stock was um, in November of 19 when Netless brought this suit against Google. That I don't know if that's uh, by the gods or it's just by happenstance. Okay, so I became aware of all this right in here about a year ago. Um, actually, I guess it was. It was in July, and I bought in right here at about $3.50. And you can see the next month, I thought I was a genius as it, it got up to $10.17. And then they had a, um, a settlement. They were also, they've, they're suing a multitude of companies. Samsung was one, and they got a judgment against Samsung, and then, then the jury came back and uh, awarded them nothing. Uh, so, so we had a substantial drop. Um, that was the only time I got below where I went underwater on it. And now you can see I'm up about, um, I think this is about 65% uh, for my purchase. So the question now becomes, where does it go from here? Okay, now let's go to one of the tools I use, another tool that I use, and that is Seeking Alpha, and, and get some kind of relationship between uh, Netlist and Google. And here you can see uh, on my... Seeking Alpha page, that netless market cap is uh, $951 million. And um, they are, thus far this year, up about um, 164%. Now let's look at Google. Google's market cap is $1.6 trillion. And we were at 900 and some million for net list. Quite a difference. If we assume that what net list has said, that basically we were of equal status, and we showed up in your office, Google, in 2009, and showed you our technology, and you stole it from us, does net list deserve to be a $1.6 trillion company? Does Netlist deserve a royalty off of Google for 10%? I don't know how they're going to decide it. Um, I wish I was on the jury, but I could not be on the jury because I have a vested interest. I actually own both of Netlist and Google. Uh, I'm looking at it and questioning if they do get, let's say, a $1.6 billion settlement. Um, what is that going to do to Google's stock price? Should I sell Google 
now and buy more Netlist? I'd be interested in your opinion in the comments. Tell me what you think. This is an opportunity or it's a pipe dream. Let's see if we can figure it out. I think Seeking Alpha should be in everybody's toolbox. You can get a 50% discount on it in the description. Why do I think it could go to 40? Um, there's a number of situations here. First of all, as I said, uh, over the next couple months, the judge is going to allow discovery. What that means is uh, Netlist's accountants, uh, analyst will be able to go through Google's books and build a case as to what was the benefit that Google received from knowingly infringing upon their patent. We all know that, that Google is a $1.3 trillion company. How much of that is as a result of their intentional um, infringement on the patent, and then over the last, because this this has been going on since 2009, over the last 10, 11 years, 12 years, 13 years, why have they not stepped forward and said, okay, yeah, we are violating your patent, and here's some remuneration to, to take care of it. Now, the other thing you need to know in, in the settlement they have basically said Google is exposed from 2014 through, I believe it's 2026. So they're going to look and say, okay, what, what does Google rightfully owe Netlist? And then what are the, uh, what is our estimate of what they will owe them in, in the next four years? So it, it could be sizable. Then you now then get into after that discovery is is laid out and presented to either a judge or a jury. I'm I've been told by Nick that it will probably be a jury trial. Then they will have to say, uh, okay, this is what we think uh, Google owes Netless. Okay, um, then what ha can happen is. The judge then is in a position to put on punitive damages, and that is to say to put out a notice to Google and any other companies that have any ideas about stealing patents that we're going to double, we're going to triple the damages to show the world that this is not good behavior, to set a precedent that says you do this you're going to end up paying what you owe the company, and then you're going to pay damages as well. So that's a possibility. And, and I, 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 I don't know. But what I do know is what I would say if I were on the jury. I'd like to know what you would say if you were on the jury. So let's go down into the comment and say uh, just Google um, owes Netlist one billion, ten billion, hundred billion, I don't know. And I don't have the formula to determine what it is. And I doubt if the jury will have a formula to fill it out. Although I, sus I suspect that the lawyers will present some formulas for themselves to figure it out. So that's what the net list Google thing is all about from my point of view. And more importantly, I want you to understand how this happened. It happened because of our tribe. It happened because of some research done by Jacob. Jacob is actually a writer for Seeking Alpha who comes and makes some presentations on our channel, who is very active in the Discord. It, it is coming from uh, Wes, who is also a presenter on this channel, very active in the Discord, and looking at prices and relative to uh, momentum where this is going. So what we're trying to do is recreate Goldman Sachs, okay? But we're doing it on a budget, and that is what the tribe does. So come take a look at us. I think this Netflix Google is just one of the many things that best of us investors has to offer our community.
in our community is the Best of Us Investors Tribe. You'll find a link to it under the description, or you can come to Best of Us Investors, and uh, I'll at the website, I'll give you a link to come and just examine it. Explore it. See if it's right for you. We, we, we do some things different. You're going to learn about our guru, our platinum program, um, where we, we actually go out and pay for advice and then share it with you. So that's what I'm excited about this week. Do I think it's going to have a settlement tomorrow? No, no. I think we're six months away unless... Google sits down and says, wait a second, there's too much news out of this. You've seen the headlines. Um, we need to settle this. But then if I'm the CEO, and there is no board of directors that is controlling this, one man, the CEO, if I've been fighting Google since 2009, and I've been going to bed every night uh, wondering what the hell's going to go on, and I've been shelling out to pay my lawyers, although I'm, I believe they're on retainer, I'd say, uh-uh, there's no settlement here, Google. We want into your books. We're going to find out what you owe us, and we're not going to take a penny less. This is exciting. It's not about the normal stock market, but I don't want to play in the normal stock market. As you've seen the last two weeks, we can't win at that game. We got to play the long game. Talk to you again tomorrow. Stock card is one of the investment tools that I use to help me make better investment decisions. What if you could use retirement accounts to invest in crypto? With iTrust Capital, you can. iTrust Capital allows you to invest in your favorite crypto assets 24-7 with the tax benefits of an IRA. So instead of paying taxes on your crypto gains every year, you can defer taxes till you retire using an iTrust IRA. Or with an iTrust Roth IRA, you can withdraw tax-free at retirement because you're in this for the long haul. Start investing today at iTrustCapital.com.